Hey everyone, Kevin here. Now, what I've got here is, well, kind of like a typical day. You know, I, I, I do a blog post, I upload a video to YouTube, and I kind of do this most days. You know, I am a YouTuber, I do have a blog, and these are the kind of things that I do on my computer. Um, my computer has integrated graphics. I've got the A700K, but I've also got two 1080 Ti's inside. Now, if you've got two 1080 Ti's, you probably don't want to use integrated graphics. But because I'm mining, I have been using integrated graphics. So I'll bring the camera over to my computer and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. So this is my computer and I just recorded the video about the LG G7, which is coming out later this year and just spoke about LG. And if you look over there, you can see I've got two 1080 Ti's in my PC. Now, right now, I don't have integrated graphics. I've disabled it. So I went into the device manager and I've disabled integrated graphics. The reason I've did that is so that I can use the two 1080 Ti's. That's the whole point of it. Um, here's the thing, right? So if I, I'll show you, you can see it here, GPU 1 and 2, those are the two 1080 Ti's, right? So what I'm going to do is re-enable them. So that's the integrated graphics has been re-enabled. Uh, and they've actually put it GPU 3 down there. Now, integrated graphics on the 8700K is actually not too bad. It's not too bad at all. Um, so what I can do is basic things. I can browse, I can watch videos, I can do things like that. And it isn't too bad. Um, but it does struggle with other things. So if, for example, I load up OBS and this is how I record... And you can see me there. Um, so I've just got a webcam. This is just the webcam recording just now. And look at this. It's right up to 79%. Now, I don't really have anything I was going, but you can see the CPU goes up to like 84%. And the GPU, the integrated graphics, goes up. Now, that's a very quick way of saying, basically, it's not ideal for recording because if I actually start recording here, so I'm recording... Click record. This will probably go up a little bit more. You can see the CPU is at one hundred percent now. The GPU is at eighty eight percent. It goes up. It usually goes up to one hundred percent because I'm recording, and that's when things go wrong. So, put simply, I can't use integrated graphics now. There are ways around this. There are ways around this, um, because what's happening here is when integrated graphics is there, Windows will use it as the default GPU. So, it'll open the browser using it. Uh, open OBS with it and things like that. You can go around that though and you can force applications to to open using your graphics cards. For example, in my case, the 1080 Ti's. Um, now, I looked at examples of how to do that. There's the video I just edited. Um, you know, in Premiere Pro, um, Project Sense, you can go in here and you can pick CUDA. But even if you've got integrated, uh, if you've got integrated graphics and you've got two 1080 Ti's, it will still use the integrated graphics for the video. And it struggles. It really struggles to the point where, well, I can edit a video. So there is a way of enabling it. You can add like a code to the shortcut so that when you open Premiere Pro, it, it will default to a GPU. You, you, I think you put something like OpenGL. Uh, now, I tried it. I think it worked once, and other times it didn't work. But... Quite frankly, it's a little bit problematic, and I know you you can go into the Nvidia, um, you can go into the Nvidia control panel here, and you can enable applications. Um, I don't actually have the HDMI cable into the uh, 1080 Ti just now. I've got to get into the motherboard, but if I was connected to the graphics card, I could go in and I could say, for this application, open it using this GPU. For this application, use it, you know, open up using this GPU. But I will say. In practice, it, it, it seems a little bit buggy sometimes when I'm doing that. So what I do is um, I'll put on integrated graphics when I'm browsing the web. But when I actually need to use the graphics card for gaming, for anything, I will disable the integrated graphics. Now, one of the reasons why I'm doing this is because I'm mining. That's the main reason. Um, now, you can see here, because I had integrated graphics, it's at 637, 729. If I had, that's the sol rate, so the hashing rate of that miner. Now, if 
I don't have integrated graphics on, then these are normally lower. So with in integrated graphics on, because the integrated graphics is powering the screen, because it's powering everything else, I can get like over 1400 between these two, um, two 1080 Ti's from a mining perspective. But if I don't have integrated graphics enabled, then what happens is that the 1080 Ti has to take some of that work and it has to power the screen. Uh, and because of that, it, it, it ends up uh, getting a reduced hash rate because of that. So that's the main reason why I'm using integrated graphics. But right now, if I'm just, uh, if I'm going to record another video, what I'm going to do is disable the integrated graphics. And it just, it just, I've just found this to be a, a simpler way of doing it. Uh, as I said, you can specify in the video and you can specify in each application to open a, in a specific GPU. But I found the quickest way to do it is just to disable integrated graphics when you're doing anything that requires the graphics cards. Video editing, games, video recording, anything that's going to put your graphics cards to the test. Disable your inter integrated graphics and you will ensure that your graphics cards are being enabled. When you're doing light browsing, that's when I would enable it and just use the integrated graphics if you're just doing light work. So I'm kind of in a unique position. I realize that most people don't have to use integrated graphics in this way. If you have a 1080 Ti, then it really depends on, or any graphics card, it really depends on what you're doing uh, and what applications you're using as to whether you enable integrated graphics or whether you keep it disabled. If you want your graphics cards to power everything, the screen, you know, for uh, the resolution, if you want it to power every single application, then just disable integrated graphics in your BIOS. I've got it, I've got it enabled in the BIOS, but I can disable it there in the device manager. And the reason I'm doing that, as I said, if I enable integrated graphics, the integrated graphics will handle the, the screen, it will handle basic things like Chrome, and it will leave the graphics cards to do what I want with mining. But for most other people, I, I would say just disable integrated graphics and just use your graphics cards for everything. Unless you really, really want to get the most from a game, I would say it's probably not in your interest to use integrated graphics, just not to have it enabled. But you can do that, you know, for example, if you're a gamer and you're not a miner, you've got no plans of mining, and you just want a game on Steam or whatever, then you could enable graph uh, integrated graphics and don't, you know, you don't use the, the 1080 Ti or whatever your GPU is. But then you could set it in Steam so that when a particular game is loaded, it will load with your 1080 Ti or your GPU. Again, it comes down to the applications, but what I've found is the easiest way to do it for me is just to do uh, use integrated graphics when I'm using Photoshop, Chrome, and just light applications. But when I'm doing video editing, when I'm doing video recording, when I'm doing gaming, when I'm doing anything that requires a lot of power, yes, you can open, you know, set in the video and set all these other applications to only open using a, a specific GPU. I've just found it easier just to quickly disable the integrated graphics and then it just solves everything. So hopefully, uh, I, I realise that's a kind of obscure video, but I've got no doubt there's some of you guys out there with the same problem. Uh, the problem at being that when integrated graphics is enabled and you've got another graphics card, then Windows will just open everything with integrated graphics and your, your GPU will be sitting there doing nothing. So hopefully I've pointed some of you guys in the right direction. If you're unsure about anything, please do leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you all very soon. Take care.